Hey everybody, welcome to another Goodie Reader video. My name is Michael. This is Peter. Today, we're going to give you a review of the N2A cards for the Nook Tablet HD+. Plus. Now, this only works for the HD+, Plus. it's incompatible with the 7-inch tablet, the Nook HD. In essence, what this does is it allows your Nook tablet to boot off of this card into a stock jelly bean experience. So this means that you can uh, access Google Play, Amazon App Store, you can install the Kindle app, Kobo app, really any app that you want, Marvel Comics and so on. Whereas uh, the Nook HD Plus uh, Barnes & Noble actually prevents you from side-loading in your own apps, and they only allow you to download apps from their own app store. So uh, getting this, like, $15 card or uh, higher if you want, like, 32 gigs, 64 gigs, and so on, uh, it gives you a lot of freedom. And it actually doesn't void your warranty either because all you're doing is booting the tablet on the card, and then you take the card out, and it boots up to exactly what you see here. Take it away, Peter. So all we got to do is shut down the device on the stock Nook experience. Make sure all of your SD cards are removed uh, prior to doing this. You want to open up the SD card slot at the bottom. Put the N2A cards face up where it has the amount of storage. So this, is the, this particular one is the 8 gig model. So it's now in there. Well done. No, thank you. Uh, this does say here, compatible with the Nook HD. And they even have a picture of a Nook HD on there. We tried several times with an 8 gig, a 32, and a 16 gigabyte card. Several times um, did not boot uh, any of the times. It just simply booted into the Nook experience and then asking to reformat the, the SD card. So it wasn't much success. Now that we have the HD+, Plus, we're going to turn this on, and we're going to see the N2A experience boot up. So we'll just give it a sec here. We will also be giving two of the cards away. We will be giving a 16, uh, an 8 gig version and a 32 gig version of the cards away in a contest. So. Yeah, so stay tuned to uh, the description of this YouTube video, or if you're watching this YouTube video on other sources, you can check it out in the video section of our website at goodyreader.com. Exactly, so it's giving us some prompts here. We're just gonna click English, United States, select Wi-Fi. Uh, for the sakes of this video, we have uh, changed the Wi-Fi password to just a bunch of zeros. just so it's easy and we don't have to put in some complex address. So note, if you are in Vancouver in a very specific two block, ra uh, two host radius, you can connect up to uh, Peter here's private Wi-Fi network by oh, trading a bunch man. of zeros. Let's try to skip over all this Google location stuff. Tablet belongs to me, last name, I don't know. You. You. <laughs> Done. Just trying to get to the home menu here. Doesn't seem to want to get me there. <laughs> Setup is complete. There we go. Yay. Got to be patient. All right. So this is the stock experience here. And you'll notice that it is very much like most Android experiences you've seen. Um, this is Jelly Bean, so there are some differences, but yeah, you'll have there Google, you have cool features like Google Now. You'll have like their expanded voice search. You'll have sort of their Siri-like uh, voice interface. But because you have access to Google Play, you can install whatever the hell you want. Basically, yeah, you have Google Play on a uh, Nook tablet HD. Now you might be wondering, oh no, uh, you've just put, you've just rooted my device and you've ruined my Nook. Uh, warranty because it's now void because you put all this Android stuff but that is not the case because all you have to do once you have Google Play and all that fun stuff and the N is still home so that's kinda handy um, is power down power off your tablet will shut down let it do so
Now, a quick note while this is happening. Whatever apps you install, or if you install like 100 apps, or if you download like the Kobo app and download like a 1,000 ebooks, that's all stored on the SD card. Nothing's really stored in uh, the Nook's main memory, so it won't, nothing will influence each other. Right. So, take the card out, and to a card. Turn the device back on. Oops. Oh no. Into a card. So as you can see, this is not a complex procedure at all. No, very simple, very user friendly. It's as easy as putting this card in when you want. Android Jelly Bean, taking it out when you want the Barnes & Noble experience. So basically, if you have at least one hand that semi-works, or if you have like a robotic arm or some sort of prosthesis, or even like those, uh, what are those kids' toys where like it's like a pair of teeth on a little stick where you press a little the button. alligator thing. Yeah, and it opens and closes. Even if you can have that or the dexterity or the mental like a capacity to do that, and you have the money to buy like a Nook tablet <laughs> HD and an N2A card, that's really all you need. Pretty much. Plug it in if you want if you want the Android experience. Take it out if you want the Nook experience. It's as easy as that. It doesn't void any warranties. Everything's still good. Yeah, so you can go to the main N2A cards website site uh, to purchase any of these. Uh, they sell cards for the Nook Color, Nook Tablet, Nook HD Plus, pretty well any tablet that Barnes & Noble's made except for the Nook Tablet HD, the regular version. They haven't come out with a solution for that yet. Uh, let us hear your thoughts. This is kind of like a cool way that you could kind of get a two-for-one action with uh, the Nook line of tablets. So um, leave a comment. If you want to enter the contest, we will post news shortly uh, for a review of the N2A card for the Nook Tablet HD Plus for goodyreader.com. My name is Michael. My name is Peter. Everybody take it easy.